James Moana. Thank you for coming by my tasting table. This wine is next. From the producer, Dana Fugata. This is called Sul Volcano. This is a 2019 vintage Etna Rosso wine. Stay tuned, I'll give my thoughts, perspectives, and point score on this wine. So please be sure to give a like and subscribe to this channel. You will see the latest videos that I'm producing. And Edna is magical no matter where you are and what you visit and what your perspective is in terms of, um, I've been on the south side of the volcano as well as the east and north side. And no matter where you are, you're always looking towards that uh, steam coming out of the uh, volcanic cone. It's something that's magical and something you think about is a very active uh, volcanic site. There are not a lot on planet Earth. And this is one where there are actually two nearby. Yeah, actually this and Stromboli. First of all, I love all their wines that they do produce. Santa Fugata does a fantastic job of dialing in to a specific region and they cover the entire island of Sicilia and you have different uh, characterization, you have different varieties. And then you find Narello Mascalesi from this region and it is a native variety and a bit of Narello Cappuccio with this as well. So I love the uh, characterization and balance of this wine. You definitely get the red fruit capture, but you also get some savory quality and graphite or mineral characterization that I like to term this wine. And I think it really comes out to a really solid, beautiful wine. So uh, again, this is Narello Mascalesi is a majority of the wine grape here and a small percentage of this is Narello Cappuccio. Now the side is very, very high in elevation. You can look at the rest of Sicilia and know that the entire island is not going to be this high elevation. So you have a very uh, large volcanic system here. The site is 730 to 750 meters above sea level, which is about 2400 to 2460 feet above sea level. Because it's Etna, you're going to have much more rain than you do in the rest of the island itself. So you probably have, I, I would say it depends where you are on the island, you might have a double uh, rainfall in this area as well. And of course, superior drainage, right? So you have the sloping vineyards that obviously are going to drain the water rapidly and quickly. Now, here's some vinification notes here. So once the clusters of fruit arrives at the winery, they undergo um, the experience of a vibrating table, and then they go to the latest uh, destemmer, latest generation destemmer, able to discard the green and overripe berries. Fermentation occurs in stainless steel with maceration on the skins for eight to 10 days at a temperature of 25 degrees centigrade, which is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, aging takes place in tanks, partly in French oak, second and third passage barrique for 14 months, and then at least seven months in the bottle prior to release. So the ABV on this is 13.5%. And I think this is the dazzling you know, experience with obviously wines from Etna and Sicilia and Italia in general, as you get these uh, outstanding, beautiful, gorgeous wines, and they are fundamentally complex. So region by region is uniqueness, beauty, and a capture of the land itself, tradition, and it just is something that you find when you put foot on ground. You know, this wine is interesting because I'm using this very large format bowl. This is a burgundy glass. This is Riedel. This is a Grand Cru Somme. And uh, one thing that's very interesting about this is I love the, the silhouette. It's pretty much a vertical silhouette. It's almost, say, compared to another wine glass, which wine glasses today tend to have a lot of curvature. So when you think of a bowl, uh, when it's straight up like this, you're be being able to be in the way, in the path of the sense characterization. When a bowl is a little more angled, it's actually going to do some bounce back, back to the wine itself, and you're missing that characterization. And I really talk about this considerably and at length because you are missing out, and I'm missing out, if I'm not tasting from the best vessel possible. There's absolute beauty to the color here. It's cathedral stained glass window, which I love and adore, and something that I get a lot from Italian wines versus other regions wines where I don't necessarily get that. Um, I think that's because the maceration is really at the optimum uh, level, and that's why I'm tasting this wine and appreciating it so much. So here we go. Now, the nose is um, tart red cherry notes, uh, forest floor, spice, leather, clove notes, as well as violets. And next, the palette characterization. So this is a sophisticated, vivid experience because of this glass, but because the wine shines through remarkably well. A lot of beautiful characterization, uh, lovely acidity capture here. And also, I'm getting uh, really, you know, that synchronized characterization of tart red cherry notes, graphite mineral notation, which I very much enjoy, white pepper, bay leaf, so that really, um, I love bay leaf characterization in wine because it gives us really, I would say, exhilarating quality and character. 
and additionally red tea notes and red floral. So beautiful capture here. Vivid, distinct, gorgeous, balanced wine. 95 points out of 100 points. More information on the producer down below. Questions and comments, please list there. Seek out this wine. I think for the price point, it's actually quite reasonable uh, for this high quality capture of Sicilia Etna Rosso. So thank you for watching. You'll find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and WordPress. Thank you for watching today. I do appreciate it. I will see you in the next video review. Salute.